As a kitchen steward or a banquet server, you're going to have to help out in the kitchen doing some dishes at times. If you're ever in the kitchen steward position, you'll come to, the, um, come to work and check out this paper on the wall here. First thing you're going to do is clock in. The next thing you're going to do is turn on your dishwasher. To do so, you come to the dishwasher and find the on button. By pushing the on button, you should see the lights turn on here as it's going to heat up and keep it on cycle number one. If it's ever on a different cycle, you push the green cycle button here to change between cycles. Number one is what we use for all of our dishes. The next thing you're going to do is to actually close the lid here, which is going to fill the tank up with warm water and get it heating up so you can do your first load of dishes. Um, the next thing you're going to want to do is to set out your black mats, which are right here. Those get laid on the floor all the way across this section here so that while the floor is wet from drying dishes, you're not going to be slipping. The next thing you're going to do is head this way. Pick out a bus tub, and you'll need two or three of these depending on if there's all sorts of silverware from knives to forks to spoons or if we're just doing forks. You put this underneath your pre-soak, push the bus button once or twice, and fill it up with warm water. Once you have your two or three of these ready, you set them off to the side, which will be filled with spoons in one, knives in one, forks in another. Another thing that's important to do is to make sure that you have trash cans ready and available by your clearing station here. Your servers are going to bring in all of your dirty dishes to this spot, and if they're not too busy for the night, they might even help you scrape the leftovers into the trash can. However, if they're running around really, really busy, they might just start piling things here for you to scrape. So things need to be scraped into here, and your silverware will be put in your bus tubs like this. The next thing you'll do is take the plates that have been scraped and bring them over to this station here. Um, we use our dish caddies, which are sitting underneath the dish station here. The flat ones had typically been used for flatware. We don't use them as much more anymore. They're more for the larger dishes that don't fit. Um, we use the ones with the prongs sticking out, which you can see here, to place your plates and you just stack them with one in front of another. Um, when you're getting ready to wash your plates or any other dishes for that matter, you need to use your nozzle right here and spray off any debris that may be sitting on top of the plates. The plates can't go through the dishwasher very dirty because the high pressured water only sanitizes them and gets rid of the small debris. It's not going to take an entire meal off of a plate. So it's very important to get it rinsed well here. Another thing that we'll use is dish the flatware caddies here. You can take two of these and set them inside of one of the flat ones with your silverware sorted in here. And once you're ready to wash something, all you have to do is slide it underneath and close your lid and it'll run a cycle. Once the water stops and you hear it, you can slide it up to the next side and get ready to put those dishes away. Um, for our drinks and for our glasses, we actually use the caddies which the glasses came out of. So this will be empty. You'll put in a new, the dirty glasses in one, and then run it through a cycle as well. Then they get restacked back over here. Um, one of the important things that you might know is when we're doing our dishes, inside the dishwasher here is a trap, which is going to catch all of the debris and anything that might be coming off of your dirty dishes. If that starts to get really full of gunk and such, you're going to need to take it out and dump out all of the gunk as well. You're going to take your lever here and pull it up, which will release all of the water in the basin to be drained out. You can run a new cycle then to fill it up with clean water so you're not washing your dirty dishes with dirty water. So, um, let's see. Basically, just kind of pay attention to your glass caddies. There's a gray stripe for regular glasses. There's red stripe for wine glasses, and over by our entry door, there's going to be gray and brown, which are for our coffee cups. By the time that you're done with your dishes, um, you'll have a pretty messy station over here. So it's important to get all of your caddies rinsed and put back where you found them. Um, in addition to that, these are what we call our container caddies and these are going to get quite dirty as well transporting things around so you make sure that these get rinsed off and put back if they're not in use. 
um, the next thing that you could do is in our sink here at the beginning of the night we'll have a squeegee. You go around to the pitch station and you're going to squeegee all the dirty water into our basin here. You're also going to take um, some vinegar solution and some sanitizer and wipe down the rest of the station so that it gets nice and clean. At the end of the night, the last thing that you should be cleaning out here is our dirty basin. This actually can be removed and everything gets scraped into the trash can so that there's not any gross food sitting in here. And if for some reason some of the food fell through into our sink basin, we have a um, dishwasher, the um, in-sink garbage, garbage disposal, which can eat up any of the food that might be sitting there. So make sure you run that as well at the end of the night. Um, the last thing that you'll need to check is that your basin got drained again, as we discussed. So you're going to drain out all of your water at the end of the night, clean out your catching container right there, and turn the machine off. So that is how we operate the kitchen station.